Hello everyone, Mami D here from Cook with Janella. Okay, today I'm going to cook um, egg roll, an egg roll. I'm going to make a Korean kimbap, the rice roll. It's like sushi in Japan. So I have eggs here, 10 eggs. I'm adding uh, salt, bit this into for a while and then add some fresh milk yes it's always good to have milk so it adds uh, it's make the egg softer so in here I have my frying pan here so make sure you have a very a non-stick pan frying pan it's good if you have the square one it's easy to make the roll you know it's easy to roll the egg if your frying pan is square so we don't have square pan so using the round pan so it's it's okay there's no problem with that i still can we still can roll it so the egg is bubbling now so in making egg roll make sure the the fire is not too not too high yeah slow medium so you can slowly dry the when slowly dry the the egg then you can slow start folding it mm -hmm. just fold slowly slowly roll so you need to uh, spatula to fold the egg into round so th this is how i do it then you can anyway this is not a cooking school so you can do what you want in your in your way so this is my way of doing it so yeah you can just do whatever you want follow your heart you see that's cooking so as you can see already fold few inches from the egg so i add another egg mixture so just like that so when the egg mixture is going to dry so start folding it again so just like this you see it's easy easy just gentle be gentle you see this is how we cook we cook it with love so there's no need to perfect also if you want so and because no matter how we uh, there so it's just like this fold slowly slowly or oh, anyway you can do this where they can add any ingredient where you want spring onion carrot chopped carrot or whatsoever a uh, what is this the crab meat no so this one just plain it's just plain eggs because i'm going to make a kimbap korean mm. kimbap so i'm using egg roll I will slice this later and cucumber and pickled radish you know the daikon that you usually use and carrots and some spinach which is I already prepared I blanched and seasoned it with sesame oil and sesame seed roasted sesame seed and salt so see as you can see now it's trying to it's okay it's broken it's okay you can add egg on that so just like this it's easy oh anyway i uh, don't put too much milk because the milk will mm -hmm. make the egg burn very fast so make sure your fire is low this not this time around i already slowed the the fire so as you can see our egg rolls already done ooh la la pretty right uh, actually this one is not really round roll <laughs> it's a rectangle so it's okay it's fine anyway we still got to cut it so yeah this is my egg roll then you want to brown it so just continue cook for a few minutes both sides to so brown both sides yeah and then after this i'm going to slice this into long strip so that uh same as the cucumber and the carrots and the and the daikon 
the pickled radish the pickled radish is a must when you're making kimbap so that's the must so without egg you can make without egg or you without carrots best but uh pickled cooking uh radish must because it add taste you know and you can you can you can add mayo in your kimba you can season any seasoning that you like mm, see I'm slicing it now and yeah this is very very fast not really fast yeah because my when you make the egg roll you have to slow the fire and you have to be gentle when rolling the egg you see as as you like so I cut this into strips just uh, not too thick not too thin just nice because it will become more when you're adding some of the ingredients later on so this is the the sheet the kimbap sheet the sushi sheet yeah so this is korean you can buy any any in the supermarket so i'm to today's i'm using the bamboo mat to to roll you can use no need also to use that uh that bamboo you still can roll it yeah actually i prefer without bamboo it's faster yeah but i just want to show you guys because some someone asking me how to do how to roll using this bamboo mat so shout out don't to the person who asked you know who you are so this is how i make so you just put add rice oh anyway the rice i cook i'm using also the japanese rice and i'm adding some seasoning to that sesame oil and uh and the rice vinegar but it's already seasoned so this rice already seasoned so i already taste i just add the sushi seasoning and then so i'm adding the so this is the daikon the pickled radish it's a bit sweet and sour not too sour it's sweetest yeah so it's just nice so you can add whatever ingredients you want for your kimbap you can add tuna you can add tuna and corn you can add uh, uh, what is this you can add bacon oh i did once last time with bacon you can add uh, uh what is this sausage sausages ham so i'm putting the egg carrots the cucumber and the uh, pickled radish and now i'm adding the uh, spam that's the luncheon meat i just pan fry too so you can put mayo with that if you want you can put chili whatever you want yeah but i don't put because the rice is already seasoned mm, so i don't want to overpower the the seasoned rice with that with other seasoning like mayo some they put mayo so i don't want uh, so I, this is the the green one is it's the spinach you just blanch it blanch this squeeze the water and then you just add, add uh season it with olive oil i only no sesame oil and roasted sesame seed and some a little bit mm -hmm. soy sauce and a bit of a pinch of sugar i see this is how i roll it so push back you hold tight not too tight or is the the sushi sheet will broken so this is how I made my kimba. Okay. So easy, right? Mm. One thing I like this kimba because you can like when you have picnic, when you're going to have a picnic or can make lunch for your kids when you go to school. So look at this. And now I get to slice some of my kimbap 
Chadaan! So I always love to eat the end. So the end is that's the best part. Okay, look at that. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty, right? So just like this, just uh, slice in into a bite size. Mm -mm -mm. Ta -da! So colorful. So you can you can put the lunch bag for your kids going to school, or you can make for party. Uh, see, so all the age is mine. <laughs> so yeah. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and God bless us all. So remember, this is not a cooking a cooking class. This is a cooking school. Yeah. So try to make your own. Like you know, make your own. That uh, what makes you happy. God bless.